I'm here in Bristol to meet some of the success stories from an amazing project called Future For Me. It supports vulnerable young people who have left care and custody. Now, some of the guys are upstairs preparing some mood boards for an upcoming event. And I've got one of my own to show them. <laughs> Let's go and give them the good news. What's up, guys? <laughs> you are the winners of the National Lottery Best Voluntary Charity Award. <laughs> The Future For Me team support young people with a whole range of practical tasks like accessing accommodation, setting up home, writing CVs and walking with them to ensure that they don't fall through the net. When I was 13 my dad passed away um, and from there on I wasn't really going to school, um, I wasn't going home and I was just staying out quite a lot. I actually ended up in care. A uh, future for me came at the right time in my life. The one thing that I saw with her straight away was potential. And we try and see that in every young person we work with, whatever is going on in their life, whatever their situation. Tell me how it's changed your life. It's given me um, like guidance to what I want to do. So now I'm actually working with uh, young people leaving care and I'm giving them a voice and helping them to get where I am. How's the project helped you? Future for me helped me in, in a lot of ways, like wanting to go to work, being able to support myself, support my family, and just get away from them bad people, really, and then. Mm. Future for me has shown that every young person can succeed in their life. Young people come out of prison, they come out of care, and there's all these other professionals around them. What we do is fill in lots and lots of the little cracks until they are resilient enough to kind of walk the walk of life themselves. These guys are nothing short of inspiring. So, once again, a massive congratulations to Future For Me. <laughs>